Well, our, our last reader is Carmen Ramirez, who is a newly elected, talented, and hardworking supervisor of Ventura County. Carmen. Hi, um, can you see me okay? Yeah. Well, um, I wanna thank uh, Marsha and Phil for this invitation and Mary, you too. I um, appreciate being invited. It is about women, International Women's Day. And I was thinking a lot today, I have two of my sisters uh, who I invite who don't live in the area, but they're online, Maria and Rosie. And uh, we've just gone through, our whole family has gone through a terrible loss of our brother. And so I'm thinking a lot about the grief that women bear uh, for their families and not just in our country, but all over the world. It's such, I read somewhere, it was a blanket of grief that many women do not have the luxury of taking a time out um, reflecting, they have to get up and go to work. Um, and I'm also thinking about our mother and many mothers, mothers everywhere for entire human history. We've had to do double duty, taking care of their children and their families. And uh, even now have to do the work, uh, maybe outside the home, but also have to take care of the families. Today I have the opportunity to pass by the uh, United Farm Workers Foundation vaccination site in Oxnard where 500 farm workers were going to be vaccinated. And that is terrific start that I was reminded by one of the people there that perhaps 40,000 farm workers are, are in our community that need to be vaccinated. and. Half of them are women, and um, we have to remember the people are doing the hard work. I'm also thinking about the women in other countries that we have to we have to work however we can to protect their rights. Women in Afghanistan struggling for recognition and just basic safety so that they can do the jobs that some of us take for granted. And finally, that uh, women's work is never done. Uh, I, like to, I like to recall Ann Richards, who was governor of Texas before the spate of not so great male governors. I'll just say <laughs> that. But Ann Richards used a metaphor for the work that women have to do, at laundry. It's not ever done. It's not one and done. You have to do it every week. And that's the work we have to do to remind, especially our younger women, that women's rights in our country were not easily accomplished. And we can't forget what it took for women to go to jail, to sometimes have their children taken away, uh, their rights, to, their limited rights taken away when they sought the right to vote. And the women of the African diaspora who worked so hard and had such resilience to fight against that evil institution and we're still feeling the effects today. Thank you for this invitation. My work is always to lift up the people who are doing the work of our community, who have done it and need to be given a safety net for the women taking care of our children, our elders who are doing the work that many people don't want to do. So happy International Women's Day. Let's remember our sisters all over the world and down the street. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carmen. Thank you so much for that message. It's good to know you're out there trying to lift up the people who are doing the hardest work. 